YouTube, what's going on? Before we start this tutorial, I just wanted to share this event that Tomb 45 has put together. There's no sponsors, there's no vendors. We're not even gonna have a table or product there. This is Education with Purpose 2. Last year, we had an amazing event. It sold out and it was in an amazing venue. And this year, we are going to top it. It's gonna be a two-day event. It's on Clearwater Beach, the number one beach in the country. You walk out the venue and your feet is touching the beach sand, baby powder. And this year, we got some of the best educators I've seen, not only in our industry, but business leaders and entrepreneurs in other industries. We're bringing them all to this building for the next two days to give you guys nuggets for you and your your team so that you can conquer this year like you've never conquered it before. We're going to go through tax strategies. We're going to go through finances, through building your barbershop, through leadership and team building, new innovative techniques to add to your bottom line and your services. Vic Blends will be there. Joshua P will be there. Rum Barber will be there. There'll be a real networking event with some of the most passionate people you'll find in our industry. And those are the people you want in your network. So if you're looking for an event to invest in yourself, why not make sure it's going to be a movie? Come to EWP2, Clearwater Beach, March 29th. What's up, YouTube? How's everything going, guys? Here we are back with another tutorial. And you can see um, the side of his head, for example, he has you know different hair density it. um it looks lighter in certain areas and darker in other others and his hair was a little intimidating when he first came in but we're gonna attack this the same way we attack every cut we're gonna start with creating our shape which will determine our length i'm gonna start with a profile parting in the middle and this is gonna be our guide for the rest of the cut on top And that guideline again is your is your guide. You should be able to see it through the next section of hair. All right, now we're gonna cross check, taking really small sections, just making sure everything is nice and even. So the right side is done. We're gonna do the same exact thing on the left side, but since you guys already seen it, I think we can skip it and go to the next section. See how I can see through it? Then we'll take a new section and do and just re we're repeating the same process. Then we'll cross check it. So at this point we've gone through it and we're just going in and point cutting into it to make it look softer. Now I've already point cut it into it some, but I didn't get to record it because my camera cut off, and that's why it's already looking pretty thin at the at the ends of the hair. And we're even going to take some sections here with the razor and just cut at, at probably like the mid shaft of the hair just to make it even lighter and, and make it easier for it to stay up and keep its volume because he is going to brush it back and he wants some volume in the front. I would say his hair is close to being coarse. Like his hair strands are like almost wiry. They're so they're so thick in my opinion. And and that can be an issue. That can be intimidating um as far as a hair texture. So now we're gonna go through the through the sides. We're gonna clear a bunch of the bulk. I'm using my one and a half guard to do so. And I'm just making sure I'm coming off the shape of his head. We're not cutting into all the shear work we just created. And you guys can see the background is definitely getting more of a salon vibe. Um, so people have been asking me in the comments, why am I cutting in this environment? And I'm going to answer the, that at the end of the video during the Q&A portion. All 
all right so at this point i'm gonna soften the side here instead of using like some blending shears right now we're just gonna go with the grain you can see the hair is going backwards so we're gonna go with the grain going backwards with this number three guard as well and then right underneath it will will shorten it to a number three but you can see it softens that little bit of of a of a sharp ridge i want to call it um in that area and we'll do the same thing on this side like look at this area so there's like a little bit of a sharp ridge here i'm gonna go with with the grain and watch how it removes that that sharp area it almost layers the hair softens it up here we go so i feel like a lot of that hard ridge is gone now all right i'm gonna put a little bit of product here on top because i want to cut into um the final look because i want my hair cut to look good after it's styled like sometimes you'll get a client man and you'll cut their hair and not style it and then your client will go home and style it and there's pieces that aren't supposed to be there right like there's hair where they don't want it so if you if you if you style it and you cut the final you finish it into the final look they'll be able to to look at it and um you know as you're cutting they'll be able to to ask you you know to make some adjustments in the haircut so we're going ahead and balding him out because we're, we're preparing this for a ball fade. And we're following it up with the gold FX's, not the gold FX's, I'm sorry, the foil FX's. They're just gold. This is from Babyless. So this model was really cool, man. He's going to um, Paul Mitchell, the Paul Mitchell Hair School here in Tampa. Oh man, you could tell he's just passionate about about the industry, about barbering, man. So it was cool to meet him, and um, his friend was actually uh, one of my models in my most in one of my most recent videos too. So shout out to him for sending me another model, cause I need him. I need as many models as we can get. All right, so we have our blade open now. And we've already done the like the two and the one and a half guard and all that. So I'm going to use my one open now. I'm going to attempt not to create another guideline. That way I could just blend into the work I've already done. So underneath my one open, usually I would do my one close. But in this particular um, example, I do feel like I created a little bit of a line there. It's a soft one, but a little bit of a line. So I'm going up again with my one and a half guard just to soften that up and stretch this area out a bit more before I move on to taking out that that guideline created by the blade open. All right, so now now we're jumping to that one guard closed and we're starting to to the bulk that little bit of a guideline again created by that blade open and if it's not if it's not you know if it's not going away then you use the half guard and you know i tell people all the time if you're scared if you're a little bit intimidated just start off with the half guard all the way open and close it as needed until that guideline is gone All right, so now we're going to go ahead and start to, to finish this fade out, man. We're going with the blade all the way open. We're going to close it as we go down until that bottom line is gone. Damn it, Tito. 
another one? Alright, so there was a little bit of a subtle line still there, even with my blade all the way closed. So I'm following it up with my trimmers, and that should do the job. Let's go ahead and line him up, and then we'll go in detail. This is my rough, dra rough draft, right? So um, I like to detail and make my, my clients feel like I'm going above and beyond. So we're going to line him up, and, um, and then detail it up. And all I'm looking for when I'm detailing is for some imperfections. Areas that could look a little bit lighter um, and areas that look a little too dark. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm looking to improve that gradient and just make it flow, make it all flush, make it all balanced. Um, and, you know, just having an even gradient all the way through. And gradients just means from light to dark. I don't want to look to look from light to dark, you know, differently on the side of his head than it does on the back of his head right i want it to be light to dark evenly all the way through so we're going through the same process here on this side blade open now one open and if it create if that one open creates a line here as you can see it kind of did we're just going to work with our one and a half guard to kind of soften and stretch that out a bit and then we'll start to work below that Tito, let's get it. All right, so now we went back to that one open. Below that, we're going to go with our number one close, as you can see. And now we have our number one guard closed. All right, below below that we have a half guard. And like I told you guys before, start open, close it as needed. But I like, as you can see, like, again, I like cutting this way because you're seeing the haircut, the total cut come to life. At this point, we finished most of the blend. It's time to take out that bottom line. And this time I'm fading up in this area. So I'm going close and opening the lever little by little as I go up until it's blended. If there's still a subtle bottom line, then you already know. We grab our trimmer and we start to pluck it out. And again, from, th from this angle, it's so important. I don't want it to look dark in this area that I'm working at and then and so and much lighter on the side of his head. It needs to flow all the way to the back.
all right and now we're gonna line him up and we'll go we again this is the rough draft i think for most people you know they'll be happy with this cut right here with the fade that you see right now but i'm gonna go in and detail and i'm just looking for those darker areas that i feel like need to be lighter and spread it out some And so the back I'm doing last and that's going to take the most amount of detailing because it's also, you know, the most dense area. So I need to make this match the sides. And man, I, I, I just got back from California, from Sacramento and from um, Concord. And um, I had a good time, man. We had the YouTube Barber Showcase, me, Beam, and uh, 360 GZ. We were there, part of that event. And it was brought to us by um, Sacramento Barbers Club. So shout out to them. And then the very next day, me and Beam did a class at Urban Barber College. And uh, yeah, we had a great time that this weekend, man. Our car got broken into and robbed, though. That's how we capped the night. But I vlogged it all, so expect to see that. I'm excited for you guys to see the, the experience there in that trip. Let me know if you're excited in the comments for another vlog. And we got EWP coming up, the EWP too. Guys, you can see how this blending share just really brings it all together, especially from the fade going into the top. Let's finish, finish this off with the shaver. I mean, the shaver, the razor is really gonna bring, make the C cup come to life a little bit more. And you can see I kept the C cup pretty natural. But yeah, guys, if you want to get to the next level and you want to get involved with like-minded people, man, from all over the country and, and from Europe, outside the country as well, we're going to have speakers, you know, who are, who are leaders in, in the business world, bringing it to the barber industry, trying to get some more entrepreneurs, business leaders, and just, and just people trying to level up in the industry. That's what EWP is going to be about. Take it too hard, babe. Yeah, yeah. You don't have any control of your hair. You're gonna need product to lay it down. So that was pretty cool, man. He was just letting me know that he lo he loved the cut, man. He liked the back, especially the way we left it full above the occipital bone to, to, to really enhance the shape of his overall cut. What are you doing about the cut, bro? <laughs> there it is it got his seal of approval guys if you like the cut please let me know in the comments below if you're new to the channel do subscribe but don't go nowhere let's go ahead and start this q a all right youtube what's going on let's go ahead and start this q a all right first comment you need a pop filter on that mic bro i can hear you breathing in hd damn you just gonna roast me like that you just gonna go in like that on my q a all right next question why are there girls hairdressers working in there i thought you own barbershops so me along with my business partners we own seven barbershops um going on our eighth um and now we own studio 45 and studio 45 was essentially my creative space and it still is it's still my wife's also my wife's space where she does hair but her friend needed some some help she, help. she needed a space to work at so we we gave a, a portion of of the studio and since I'm not gonna be doing as many hands-on classes anymore, it just worked out, great timing. So we may just be turning it into a salon after all. I'm not gonna lie, that's always been kind of the backup plan. Do they have a website to get custom Babyliss clippers? Can't seem to find it. So guys, real quick, I am not affiliated with Babyliss other than sometimes I test out their products. I like the guys who work there. I like what the company stands for. And um, we have some synergies there. So every now and then you'll see Tune 45 and uh, Babyliss working together because we just we just love the industry so much. But I know some things because, again, I'm friends with the guys out there at, uh, uh, um, in Babyliss. I can tell you that from my understanding, they plan on doing most of the custom FX features um at the hair show so ibs is the next one and then later on in the year they're open it to the public on the app store that's how you get your custom effects next question do you even have unhappy customers laugh out loud damn man of course guys no matter how good you think you are there's going to be somebody who prefers not to sit in your chair the next time they come into the shop they're not going to come see you because 
you know, everybody has different preferences. Some people have weird preferences, in my opinion, but some people have preferences that you just don't meet, you know what I'm saying? And and that's okay, that's not our job. Not everyone's gonna be your customer. Your favorite barber does not make everybody happy, and that's the truth. Thank you guys so much, that's it for Q&A. I'll see you on the next video.